Welcome to the Carolina Trade Winds Local Voices Program. I'm your host, Ken Morgan, and on today's show, we have Colleen Brown. She's the assistant to the director of the Perquimans County Chamber of Commerce. Hi, Colleen. Hey, how's it going? They're doing good. I noticed the chamber is hosting a job fair and an expo on April 27th. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, this is our fifth annual uh, expo, and uh, this year we've we've done a little bit with a job fair in the past, but this year we're really trying to push hard on that. To, to we think that that's a a tremendous thing to enhance it. Basically, what the expo is is a lot of our prominent businesses uh, uh, get a booth. Um, it's going to be held out at the rec center in the gym there, and they set up and they try to show their businesses off, and they try to network with other businesses who come, network with other business people who come, and um, possibly, hopefully, attract some new clients. There's probably several booths are going to be running little uh, giveaway contests, and hopefully there'll be some, you know, freebies and and vendor swag. You never can tell, but you always keep your fingers crossed. And uh, meanwhile. Some of those booths will also be seeking applications for uh, positions they're hiring for. We'll have a flag out front to designate whether or not they're um, whether or not they're interested in, in applicants. When you come to the entry of the expo, for the very first part of the expo, it's like a dollar entry fee. But if you have a resume to indicate that you're a job seeker. You get right in free. Okay, folks, there you go. If you're looking for a job, uh, that sounds like a, a good deal to me. Uh, who's sponsoring this event? We actually have a number of really great sponsors. They help us out a lot. We rely on them to have the money to put the event on. So um, Vident, mm -hmm. the, the medical company, has sponsored us, and the NC Works Work Development Center has sponsored us, and of course, Pepsi Bottling Ventures, oh, they're always so great about, about uh, supporting us and supporting the community. And then the College of the Alps Small Business Center, they've also given us some money. They're a wonderful sponsor, and um, they're uh, one of their lead people there. Um, Ginger O'Neill has actually helped us with the planning of this. She's on the committee. She's helping us steer this in the right direction. And then, of course, PNC Bank, which is just down the street from us here at the chamber. They were very kind, and they came up with some money for us, and that was wonderful. And then the, the newspaper association that includes the Daily Advance and the Perquimans Weekly and the Choan Herald, um, they've given us some money. So those are our sponsors, and it, it really feels good to know that they're interested in supporting their community, right, and, and our county and the, the business life of the, the community and the county. Right. Yeah, that's that's great. Uh, I know Ginger, I've met her several times, and, and I know yeah. that the College of Albemarle, they always put together a, a – I know Ginger always puts together a real a real good program. She helps a lot of people around here. Uh, what kind of, Oh, she does. Yeah, she does. What kind of vendors are, are going to be there? Well, um, I don't have the final list because – I still got a couple calls today. Oh, okay. <laughs> Interested in this. It's a little bit last minute, but hey, you know, people say that in Perquimans County we do some things at the last minute, so we got to be prepared for that. Right now I have over 30 vendors. I have the Albemarle Electric Membership Corporation, the Albemarle Regional Health Center, the Bath Fitters, Biggs, um, the car dealer in Elizabeth City, Broad Street Counseling, Camp Kale, Carolina Trophy, um, of course, the COA Small Business Center will be there, um, East Carolina Radio, uh, Urine Sons Construction, Hertford Print Shop, Hockmeyer Equipment, IBX Insurance, Interbanks Coffee, Max Radio, Mediacom, Nissan of Elizabeth City, the Perquimans uh, Tourism Development Agency, the Perquimans Weekly, PNC the Bank, uh, Sela Concepts International, Swim and Sun, Trade Winds will be there, um, U.S. Cellular, Vident, White's Dress Shop, Workforce Development Center, and, you know, like I said, a c couple others still coming around. Wow, that's quite a list. Uh, that sounds like some really good businesses in the area. That's what I thought. I thought, you know, it, it represents a whole bunch of different ideas and perspectives, and several of them said it's important to reach out to the public because the public thinks they know us 
or they think we fit into this one niche and they don't realize what else we do. I know that um, Urine Sons, which is a construction company, they say very often they're disregarded for small home repair because people think they're a big construction company mm-hmm. and vice versa. Very often they're not, they're not uh, invited to bid on a, a, a large um, construction project because those people think they're just a small home repair company. And so they said, this is an important opportunity for us to get out and show what we can do. Say we do the small, we do the big and everything in between. Wow. Okay. Well, I was looking at the flyer in the Trade Winds magazine, and uh, I was just curious, what's going on besides the booths? I mean, it, it, it looks like it's broken up between noon or noon to four, and then the victory lap at five to seven. How, how is that working? Uh, the idea is that from noon to four, that's general populace. Everybody come. The fee for entry there is one dollar. One dollar, or like I said before, if you're a job seeker, show your resume, get in free. It's a kind of high energy. We'll be doing a couple of interesting things there. For instance, Perquimans County has just now achieved the the NC Works work ready community status we've just finished that off and we've got a hundred percent and um, we're very proud it's a very important thing for us to have done Um, because what that means is that the high schools have adjusted their curriculum and they've worked with with the businesses to offer certifications for high school students who when they come out they, they have on their resume that they have this certification in you know computer repair or or software development or something like that. That's something uh, an employer can look at and say, it's not just that they've passed a class in that. It's that they've done extra work and they've become certified on this sort of national level. Very impressive. And so one of the things we're doing during the afternoon, one o'clock in the afternoon, we're having a bit of a celebration of the county achieving this goal. It's very important for the, the, the county schools, but it's also very important for the county businesses where better than the business and uh, expo and job fair to celebrate this. And then a little bit later, um, after that's done, we have a couple of uh, we have a couple of demonstrations. We have Planters Ridge which is the local florist and nursery, and they'll be there doing a potting demonstration. It's spring now. We're all trying to get our container gardens and our, our uh, lawn, you know, and, and, and our beds all good. They'll have a demonstration for them. The Hertford Print Shop, which is a relatively new business in Perquimans County. And now, when you think of a print shop, what you think of is business cards, right? Business cards, stationery. Okay, that is the tip of the iceberg. Oh, yes, they do beautiful business cards. They've done mine. Yes, they do glorious stationery. But did you know they could come into your kitchen and they could wrap your kitchen counters so that they look identical to granite but without the wear and tear from granite? You know, granite, it's a little hard to keep up. It's expensive, too. (laughs) Yeah, expensive, too. They can, they have, in fact, wrapped the police cars here in Hertford, we have this beautiful, uh, this beautiful police car in red, white, and blue. They wrapped a car, mm-hmm. and they're, this is part of a print shop. They have so many things that they can do. just blows my mind every time I think about it. Mm-hmm. They're doing a demonstration. They're going to show off some of their fancy machines, and they're going to say, this is the kind of thing we can do. Um, we're also going to have the master gardeners there for a little while. They're going to have a table. So if you were out in the yard today and you found a strange looking, uh, bush or that wonderful rose bush you put in last year has just not coming back or what is happening here or what's this bug or whatever, you got a question for a master gardener, there'll be a table and we'll have ask a master gardener and you can come up and you can sit down one-on-one with a master gardener and say, here's my issue. What do you suggest? And then finally, we also have the golf pro, Kenny Saunders, from the Sound Golf Links at Albemarle Plantation, and he'll be coming out to do a putting demonstration. I'm really kind of excited about that one. Mm -hmm. So these are happening at various times during uh, uh, during the afternoon. Then you were asking me, why is it that we have that gap in the middle of the day? Right. I'll tell you what it is. At four, 
we all sort of take a deep breath. We relax for about five minutes, and then the chefs start arriving. Restaurants, caterers, food purveyors of all sorts of different kinds, stamps, qualities from Perquimans and the surrounding counties show up and they set up um, their tasting station. Right? They have a, a, a table and on that they array little tasting samples of one of their best dishes. Mm-hmm. So that when the doors open again at five, we've started what's called the victory lap, which is a little bit more expensive. It costs $10, and it's a little bit more elegant. You know, we've got live music, and uh, White's Dress Shop has a dress parade. And what you do is, even if you're a vendor, you get to leave the booth for a minute or two and wander around and sample these things that all these chefs have brought and then you vote on which you think is the best one. Mm -hmm. And you vote by putting money in a little voting basket. So you start out, you know, any kind of money is good, it all spends the same. The better you think it is, the more money you put in. And then at the end of the time, at about, you know, 6.30, they're all collected, the money is all counted, and whichever chef has the most money in their basket, that's the most votes for them, they win the title of Best Chef of the 2017 Expo. Okay. That's pretty cool. Uh, What kind of entertainment is going to be uh, on tap? Okay, so we've got a couple different fun things. Like I said, at the Victory Lap, we've got Brent Elliott and Bruce Decker playing live guitar, but probably the most exciting thing that we've got going, and it'll be going um, all day, is that we have a racetrack, and there will be car races going on throughout the day. Mm -hmm. And if you win one of the car races... You get to keep your race car. Oh, okay. Now, the the race cars are about two inches long and made of die-cast metal. They're sort of matchbox race cars, but it's so fun. I'm here to tell you, the racetrack is about 30 feet long, and it's electronically uh, judged in terms of speed and in terms of – so there's an electronically controlled gate. Mm -hmm. And it opens, and all the cars start down at the same time. (laughs) And then there's a box at the bottom that times them all to establish which one is actually the winner. And and uh, so it's it's it sounds like something you're like, oh, that would be a fun thing for me to bring the children to. Well, yes, got you in one. But you know what? Once you're there, Mm -hmm. it's so hard not to get excited yourself. (laughs) Yeah. Because you know it's 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 like a regular uh, it's like a regular car race. You see your car going down, and you're shouting and you're cheering, and you're like faster, faster, even though there's nothing you can possibly do. <laughs> and um, it, it feels great to win. And um, I was surprised. I, I uh, uh, previewed this sort of activity at one of the local churches. They had it, and it was the most fun. The kids loved it. The grown-ups loved it. The grown-ups, in fact, were a little bit more um, competitive even than the children sometimes. Right. We also will have um, East Carolina Radio doing a live broadcast with Ray Turner during the afternoon. Well, the whole day sounds like it could be a lot of fun. We're almost out of time today, but uh, if you want to know more about what's going on, you can contact the Chamber. Uh, Their number is 252-426-5657. And thanks for being on the program today, Colleen. Oh, thanks. Uh, I had so much fun. Thank you for letting me be here. Well, thanks, Colleen, for being on our program. And we also want to thank all the listeners for tuning in and listening to this edition of the Carolina Trade Winds Local Voices Unfiltered program. See you next time.